In today's video, we're going to be unbagging a Glencoe electronic chanter. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with other pipers you know, comment below, all of that stuff, and be aware I do give Skype lessons if you want more personalized instruction. All right, on with the video. All right, so right here we have a brand new, at least to my knowledge, uh, electronic chanter. It's uh, the Glencoe electronic chanter. One of my students, found this particular chanter and uh, was willing to take a risk and buy it because I don't know anything about that. And uh, he was letting me un unbag it for him. So uh, I like unbagging videos too. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, and go in. So uh, at the top here, I'm just seeing if there might be a tear strip, but I don't see one. So I'm just gonna very carefully with just the edge of the blade, kind of come across the top. Don't want to damage anything. All right, and we're inside. All right. Well, so far it's pretty simple. We got a nice little tube, Glencoe. You can kind of make that out maybe with the the lighting. Where's the camera? Ah, the Glencoe. Okay. Is there anything else included in here? Okay. We have a. Looks like the receipt. Yes. Okay. And what else might be in here? Okay, just another piece of paper. All right. So it looks like all the business is inside this. Okay. We got some tape right here. We're going to go ahead and cut it open to get inside this tube. Exciting. I love new toys. It's one of my favorite parts of this channel. I get to have little Christmases every week or two by uh, doing all these unboxings. So if you want me to unbox something, um, feel free uh, to get in touch with me and, uh, and I'll unbox it on camera if, uh, if you get it to me. All right, so we're getting the other side open now. Let's see, that's quite a bit of stuff in here. Okay, so we have some, some earbuds. That's nice that they include some earbuds with a, with a seal on here, so we won't worry about that. Let's uh, keep going. Here we go, and we open it up. We got instructions, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I like that, but who needs instructions? We're gonna try to just have this thing, give it a go. And then to look at the tube, it looks very similar to a Fagerstrom, though I do believe it's a little bit fatter. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit bigger in diameter, which is fine. Um, it's still quite small. Uh, get a ruler here. It is. It's 10 and a quarter inches by three quarters inches across. And uh, it's got, oh, so it's got a USB-C, I believe, port, the standard Android type connector right there. So that's awesome. And uh, an indicator light, it looks like, and the headphone jack. But I bet it charges from this and doesn't need watch batteries. And that is super cool. All right. Well, Let's go ahead and give this thing a play test. I got my Fishman loud box right here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in so we can all hear it. Okay, so the contacts stick out a little bit further than say, um, either like a Deeger pipe or a, or like a red pipe, because uh, I have a couple different red pipes. So I have notoriously dry hands. Okay, whenever, and as soon as you let go of everything, it just turns off. So like many of these electronic channers, you, if you have dry hands, you're probably going to need a little bit of lotion to make sure that you're getting good electrical contact with everything. All right, let's try this again. The C doesn't seem to want to be kind of kicking in. Okay, so 
for now, uh, it's having a little bit of trouble picking up my C, and I do have this, uh, my hands are all lubricated. So let's take a second and take a look at these instructions. Okay. So it says, Chandler does not play the correct notes. Notes do not respond to all fingering. Uh, moisten fingers with hand moisturizer. Dry fingers may lead to uh, fingering not being detected. Okay. So, and there is some finger positioning on here for the volume. Okay, that's good to know. To charge, remove the earphones and insert a micro USB cable. Okay, so yes, that is for charging. The light on the top of the channel will start flashing. Okay, cool. Anything else on the back? Features, uh, real chanter sound. And yeah, it, it definitely has like a practice chanter sound, not a pipe sound, but that's fine. 80 hour battery life, my goodness. Um, full range of notes, including C natural and F natural. Okay. And, hmm. To begin, play an E. The channel will start, uh, the sound will stop once none of the notes are being played. And then to shut down, just remove the earphones. Leaving the earphones plugged in for long periods of time when not in use will drain the battery and cause damage to the channel. All right, well, I pretty much just read the entire thing. So I'm gonna try maybe just a little bit more moisturizer. curious we're gonna go ahead and turn off the amp real quick and I'm gonna hear through these included headphones if there's any problems if it's does any better with these I don't see why it would but I want to give it a full test here plug these in no it's still doing that same thing on um, that C or D like these two fingers are kind of intermittently not wanting to pick up I'm gonna try a different brand of moisturizer and see if maybe that I'm gonna try a different brand of moisturizer and see if maybe that'll help. All right, hands feel nice and moisturized. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Will it work? Will it work? Oh, let's plug it back into the Fishman because it was doing the same thing through both. So this had nothing to, to do with it. You can see I'm not moving my fingers. So I'm gonna try getting tissue and just cleaning off that one contact. Let's see, maybe, just maybe, please have that be enough. Okay, so there is an unboxing and these things are live, people. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get in touch with the uh, good folks here to click on exactly how this is taken care of. I really don't have any doubt that uh, they're gonna make this right. Glencoe got back with my student in very short order and recommended to screw in the contact a little bit to see if that would fix the problem. And it did. <laughs> So as you can see there, it does C natural, it does F natural. Uh, it has, again, a built-in battery that uh, charges via a micro USB cable. To note, if it's to be believed, and I don't have a reason not to, but I haven't tested it myself, they say this has an 80 hour battery life. So not only is it easy to charge, it lasts forever. Also, this is really cool. It doesn't rattle. 
There's no batteries inside that make noise. All of these other uh, electronic channer ones, well, I mean, not all. The Blair is amazing. The Blair is just wow. But it's wow. So, you know, you, you get what you get. So uh, the Blair is an uh, incredible product. This does what it does, and it's still quiet. The other one, I do remember, it would just shake in the bag. Uh, the company, again, uh, they were great to work with. They got back with the student in short order and nothing had to be done other than a little adjustment with a screwdriver. So that is fantastic. I'm definitely thinking about getting one of these things because I could use a nice small practice tool um, that I could put headphones in and not disturb everybody. Uh, I had a Fagerstrom for years and on the way back from Scotland in 2001 from the World Championships, uh, I left it in the back pocket of the plane. Yeah. So uh, it's been 18 years since I've had a nice little practice stick to practice on. It only does the practice channer sound, and there is a bit of fuzz. There's a bit of static in the channel. It's not just the amplifier, even through uh, headphones. There's just a little bit. It's not enough for me to like downrate the product, um, but it, it, this isn't appropriate for like studio use. Even if you wanted kind of an electronic practice channer sound or small pipe sound, I think there's probably just a little bit too much fuzz uh, coming out of the headphone jack here. Uh, for me to recommend that, but I don't think anyone would use it for that. This is a practice tool and as such, I think it knocks it out of the park. And as of this video in September 2019, with shipping from Scotland, you can get this thing for 150 American. That's incredible. That is so much cheaper than any other electronic product on the market. So uh, a shout out to Glencoe for putting something out like this and a second shout out for being so quick to get back and the fix was super easy. So um, I love it. I love it. Uh, again, I think there's going to be one of these in my future. Maybe when I make 150 bucks off these YouTube videos, I'll buy one. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Uh, if you got something out of this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps more than you know. If you want to go that extra mile, you can go ahead and head over to my Patreon, where as little as a dollar a month really helps. Well, get all the goodies and stuff that help this channel continue to grow. I also give online lessons for more personalized instruction. Go ahead and head over to www.mattpiper.com and get in touch with me there. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Matt Willis, and until next time, cheers.